Hey Taurus, welcome back to Sophia Monet Tarot. I am doing your uh, reading today for messages that your lover wants to say to you. So oracle messages for what this person would want to say to you, um, the person that you've been crushing on, thinking about dating, talking to, getting to know. You could be married. You could also be engaged. Okay, this could be a baby mama, baby daddy. But yeah, we're going to see what this person has to say to you today on Valentine's Day. Alrighty, here we go. Thank you guys for tuning in. Happy Valentine's Day. Okay, so this is Taurus. Divine Spirit, Holy Spirit. What's going on with Tauruses and this person? Keep an open mind as the cards come out. It could relate more so to you. Um, but the intention is set with what this person wants to say to you for today. Okay. So here we are, and we'll also get some advice. What's going on with this person? What do they want to say? When we make love, our souls collide. I can't get enough of you. Ooh. So this could be, okay, just kind of steamy. So this could be what they're thinking about right now as far as them making love, you know, to you, with you. Um, this could be a fantasy. Okay. If it hasn't happened yet. Okay. But for some of you, if this has already happened, this person is thinking about that. They just can't get enough of you. I feel like someone is thinking about how it's, how it's going to be or how it will be. Yeah. I need to talk to you now. <laughs> so someone is, yeah, they're a bit bold. Okay. They want to talk right now. Okay. They could feel a little anxious, uh, when it comes to this connection, lots of emotional energy bubbling up within them. I feel like they they feel a bit panicked as well. Let's see. You blow my mind. This came out uh, specifically for Sagittarius. Some of you could have that in your chart or dealing with the Sag. Okay, what else for Taurus? What does this person want to say to Taurus? I'm not ready to leave. <laughs> this person is not ready to let you go. Maybe this is what they want to say to you, what they want to talk to you about right now. Okay, this feels urgent. They're not ready to leave. Not ready to walk away from this. Someone is saying, I am going through a divorce. It's too chaotic right now. Okay. Now, if you're married and things are a bit rocky, you may be separated from this person. Some of you could be going through a divorce. Things may be chaotic. Um, if that is so, this person is remembering the good times. They want things to go back to the way they used to be. This person is not ready to leave you. For others of you, this could be someone who is putting something to rest. They could be not only divorcing a lover, someone could be divorcing a family moving away from their family, uh, divorcing their job. There's other uh, ways that that divorce word can be used. Someone putting something to rest, separating from things um, that no longer serve them. But it's chaotic right now. Something is very chaotic for this person. They could be going through a lot. This may be what they need to talk to you about, okay? <clears throat> And I do want to say for those of them who may be going through a divorce, trying to put um, a marriage to rest, they may not be ready to leave that situation just yet, but they're thinking about you. You blow their mind. Someone is saying they feel lost. Okay. Someone is feeling lost. There could have been um, a feeling of this person or what they may be feeling is they feel like they lost you. Okay. They could have lost you. Or they feel like this is what's happening. Whoa, that one kind of slid out. I am moving. That's what I was just saying. This person could be moving. Moving away from a family. You know, divorcing a contract. You know, trying to move from one location to the next location. Someone is moving. I am moving. Things are hectic right now. So that's the second time uh, your person has said things are too chaotic and things are hectic. So this person has a lot on their plate, whether you know it or not, okay? Then it says, I only party with others to forget about you. Mm. Yeah, 
this person seems like they use things to distract themselves from thinking about how much they lost with you or how much, you know, how much is going on in their lives right now. They try to distract themselves by partying. They could date a bunch of people right now or could be dating other people. This person is really, you know, I feel like kind of being immature about the situation. You know, if I'm honest, it, it feels a bit immature. I only party with others to forget about you instead of just, you know, being mature about the situation and coming to talk to you about how they really feel. You know, it's like they're running from this, even though they're saying they feel lost. My wife wants to reconcile. I'm so sorry. So for those of you who could be experiencing someone who's going through a divorce, their partner may want to reconcile with them, okay? And that's why things are too chaotic. Things are hectic, okay? This person could be in the midst of a very painful divorce, very painful separation. They're feeling lost. They could be partying, drinking, you know, trying to numb the pain of losing someone right now. Um, but somehow you cross paths with this person. It feels like a person that you met while they were still healing from another separation or divorce or ending with someone. Maybe they went through a very bad breakup, but this person just wants you to know that you are still on their mind. They still think of you. They still can't get enough of you. And they're not ready to leave this situation alone. They're not ready to leave you alone. Let's get one more. Look at that. I hate being away from you. I'm frustrated. This person is feeling frustrated without you, Taurus. They don't like being away from you. They don't like being either physically away from you or emotionally away from you, distant from you. They don't like that feeling, okay? And so it feels like they're just going through so much right now. They need things to calm down before the, they can really, you know, talk to you or before they can really, you know, come and approach you with an offer. At the bottom of the deck, it says, I blamed you for my mistakes. Wow. So they're owning up to it. They know they accused you of some things. They could have even accused you of cheating or, you know, being with someone else. And you were probably like, what? I'm not doing anything. What are you talking about? This person blamed you. Okay. For some of you, take it as it resonates. It could be all of these cards or one of these cards that resonate with your situation today. But this is what this person is trying to tell you. They made some bad mistakes. <laughs> they blamed you. You know, you could have walked away from this person. Maybe you did find out that this person was trying to reconcile with their ex or maybe while the two of you were not speaking, this person went back and slept with their ex or something of that nature. But now it's like the tables have turned. Now they party with other people to forget about you because you have blown their mind. Mm. You did something to this person, Taurus. <clears throat> Your presence alone has changed this person and they can't get enough of you. They just can't get enough. Whoa, the cards are coming out. Look at that. In the near future, just slid out along with ask for help from others. Yeah, this person could need therapy. This person could need to talk to someone like a counselor, you know, someone to help them. <clears throat> they need to ask for help. Um, they may need to ask for help when it comes to putting something to rest from their past, but something in the near future. Tell me about that near future. What's, what's happening in the near future with this person? Look at that recovery. This person needs a chance to heal, recover, because it's not easy if you're healing from a divorce or a bad breakup, it's not easy to just move on to a new relationship. Something else flipped over. Look for a sign. Yeah, this person may reach out to you <clears throat> because I feel that anxious energy. They want to take action. Someone is ready to take action. And I feel like they're, they're panicking or they're feeling like you're going to get away from them. That's why that lost card is here. They feel like they're going to lose you. Okay? 
it's like they're they're panicking. They don't want to lose you and they know, wow, that they have to take action. Before I even said anything, occupation just popped out. This person could be tediously working, okay? Trying to save up money, trying to change their financial state or situation, trying to get stable. Maybe they're in between jobs right now. Yeah. Okay, that's too much. <laughs> But I'll take the one that, oh, wow, that was a lot. Okay, one flipped over right here. False person. Yeah, I feel like this person wears a mask. They cover up a lot. That's why it says, I blamed you for my mistakes. This person knows that they haven't been honest or upfront about their actions. And I feel like they want to correct that, okay? They're acknowledging what they blamed you for. Let's get one more journey, but it's going to take a journey. Some of you may live at a distance from this person. For others of you, I feel like this person needs to go on their own healing journey is what I feel. They're, they're recognizing something within themselves that they don't like. Maybe you helped this person to realize that they needed to go through some type of recovery. Okay. They're going on a journey. Yeah. And then they may be able to give you a gift in the end. Maybe they want to do something sweet for you or nice for you. Alrighty, Taurus, that is your energy for this Valentine's Day. I hope you are <clears throat> enjoying your day, having fun, being safe out there. You guys, don't forget to like this video. Give me a thumbs up. Also, share this video and subscribe to my channel, Sophia Monet Tarot. I look forward to hearing from you. I will see you guys in your next reading, Taurus. I hope it resonated. Let me know in the comment section, okay? If it did, have fun. Take care. Bye.